Each summer on the island of Sodo, a special picnic train ride was organized for visitors to the island. The fat controller was busy working out which engine would be free to take the picnic train. At the shed that morning, the engines were waiting patiently for the fat controller to tell them which engine had been chosen. I do hope it's me, said Thomas to Percy. Annie and Clarabel will have such fun showing the visitors all the splendid countryside. The fat controller arrived. I have decided that Gordon will take the picnic train, he announced. Oh, Annie and Clarabel will be disappointed, sighed Thomas sadly. As they got older, Thomas's two loyal carriages huffed and puffed a little, but they did still enjoy the holiday outing as much as ever. Gordon did not look happy. I am the biggest and fastest engine on the whole railway. I'm far too important to take the picnic train, he complained angrily. Engines on my railway must do as they are told, the fat controller told Gordon sternly. Now, go and collect your coaches and take them to the harbour station where the visitors will be waiting. The waiting passengers cheered and waved as Gordon drew into the platform. I'll show them what a ride on the fastest engine on the whole railway is like, Gordon muttered to himself. The guard blew the whistle, and they were off! Gordon started with such a jerk that his driver fell off balance and knocked the brake off. Gordon rushed on with a loud WHEESH! Through the tunnel he raced on, past the beautiful Sodor countryside. By the time the driver had managed to slow Gordon down, they were halfway round their trip. The passengers were very angry indeed. When they pulled into the next station, they all got off and started to complain bitterly to the fat controller, who had just arrived at the station. Gordon went so fast, we couldn't see the countryside, they complained. Please, sir, called Thomas, who had pulled in at the other platform. We can take the visitors at a more leisurely pace. Yes, indeed you can, Thomas, replied the fat controller gratefully. All the passengers climbed aboard Annie and Clarabel, and Thomas set off cheerfully. Whenever they passed an especially beautiful part of the island, Thomas slowed down so that everyone got a good view. All the visitors had a lovely ride, and they all went home very happy. Later that evening, Thomas returned wearily to the shed. What a super day it turned out to be, he thought to himself. Gordon was still sulking. Gordon's picnic express may have been the fastest, but it certainly wasn't the best, Thomas cheekily announced. Gordon pretended he hadn't heard.